hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see advanced custom bar chart in power bi and in front of your screen you can see this is a bar chart which we are going to create and you can see it is customized bar chart or we can say advanced bar chart which we actually have in our power bi that gives us a, you know a normal bar chart where labels are broken uh, we are not able to add multiple uh, we can say other labelings or other numbers over there so in front of your screen you can see here uh, we have created a bar chart with respect to sales and subcategory and here you can see we have adjusted the label above the bar chart and we have provided the sales number over here with respect to that also you can say in front of uh, your screen that is at the end of this particular bar we have added few uh you know uh, calculations or we can call them as uh, current month and previous month calculation and with respect to your uh you know requirement you can add uh, week wise you can add year wise quarter wise whatever you want you have to just change the calculations you can see the upper arrow it indicates that the sales are increasing with respect to last month and what is the percentage of increase and you know what is the difference between them right so with respect to last month and current month what is the difference between the sales right similarly if it is dropping if it is negative then you can see it has been dropping over here how much it has been dropped uh, percentage wise and you know sales wise how much it has been dropped so likewise all the numbers we are getting over here and it is completely dynamic you can add different filters over here with respect to which it will be operated right so in this way we are going to see this entire custom bar chart or we can say advanced custom bar chart and so let's take a new sheet so i will take a new sheet for us uh, where i will show you all the procedure and what calculations i have used so this is a new sheet uh, for us in front of your screen you can see this so now what i will do is i will first connect to my data so the data which I am going to use, I will add this data in the uh, description box that is linked uh, for this particular data. You can download and you can use. Uh, either way, you can use your own data. You can just follow the procedure which I am using and you can use any other data as well. right? So I will just click on Excel file and uh, I will go here and I will connect to my data that is sales data. Okay. So this is the data which I am going to use and for that I will be using a orders table right so whatever table I will be using is the order table and I will just click on load the data right so it will load the data for us and first few uh, procedures what we will do is I will create a date table or a calendar table so it is used if you are using a time intelligence function because in this particular uh, bar chart video we are going to create some month to date calculations and previous month to date calculation and those are required uh, so if you are using those it is recommended by, by power bi or microsoft power bi that you should use a date table for that so before moving ahead into our video let us discuss the important projects in data scientist field so these are some few real time projects like covid 19 prediction credit card approval health insurance prediction bank turn deposit customer churn housing price predictions and some other projects like retail db data professional survey breakdown so you can just click on this and you can view the projects as well there are a few videos and introduction videos are available for this right so by using this kind of projects you will enhance your resume so all these projects you will get on one single platform that is nothing but on odin school so this data science course from odin school is a live instructor led course and in this they will not only teach you the theoretical concept but you will also get project based learnings they will take different mock interviews and there is a dedicated job application portal as well the data science course syllabus include different core modules like sql python they will also teach you different machine learning concepts eda generative ai power bi and some bonus modules as well like advanced power bi dax function snowflake then gpt azure advanced excel r and PySparks as well so you can see many people have done career transition in this particular data science field whether they are from technical or a non-technical background so there are few success stories as well you can just click on this particular thing and you can see there are few different success stories as well of the different people you can read all of them so odin school has 500 plus hiring organization partners and those are big brands and after you complete this particular data science course they will help you in reaching out these particular industries 
so there are different career services in a nutshell and in this you will not only learn technical but they will also teach you communication and aptitude trainings they will take your different mock interviews so you will be ready for any real time interviews as well they will help you in building your resume and other professional profile building as well they will take different workshop on your behavioral and workplace behavior teaching as well so the mentors and speakers for this particular entire data science course are from reputed industries who have large amount of experience in this field and variety of domains which they have worked on so the upcoming batch of this particular data science course is from 27th april and the next batch is from 25th may and the course fee of this particular course is 75000 plus gst and you will get an early bird offer up to 10000 rupees and you can reserve your seat by paying just 5000 plus gst you will also get an emi option of 3 month 6 month 9 month and 12 months as well so what are you waiting for just go ahead and book your seat i will add the entire link of this particular site in the description box of this video i will also pin into the comment section and you can just click on that you can come to this website and you can book your seat so let's move ahead with our video uh we will go into the table view okay so you can see this is the already data which has been uploaded and now here we will try to create a new table okay so here you have an option in table tools called as new table okay so just click on that and that table is nothing but date table so i will just increase the size for you so you can see it so i will name it as date table okay so this is a date table you can name anything then we will use a calendar functions to create it so calendar so start date will be the minimum of order date so order date is nothing but it is the date from orders table here you can see uh so in order date you can see we have an option here called as field called as order date so same field we are using here that is minimum of order date okay so you have an option or the date here called as order date okay comma okay second argument we will use that is end date so it will be the maximum of order date okay so everything we are deriving from data itself so it will be date and we will take it as order date okay and we will close our bracket enter so you can see as soon as you do you will get a date table over here starting from this that is which is the minimum date in our data and all the dates in between the maximum date so you can see the maximum date is this one right so the same way we are going to find out and now what we have did uh, we have created this date table but we have to connect it to our data right so that is nothing but we have to create a data model to give a connection or a relation between these two tables right so just go in model view okay and here you can say here you have order date and you have date so just drag this date on this order date so this connection would be created right so it might be a possibility that you have already created this and now we will just create our advanced bar chart right so now just go in report view and here we will try to create our bar chart right so for that what we will do first we have to do few calculations right because we have to find out uh, current month and previous month sales so that you can uh, i just showed you you have to create this particular label on this right so to create this label we have to first find out current month sales and previous month sales right so for that we will do few calculations so i will just write first dax measure over here and i will click on new measure and i will name that measures so i will just increase the size first we will find out total sales okay first i will find out entire sales of this particular uh, we can say entire data which we have so it is nothing but sum of sales we have to take just six sum of sales so sum of sales i have taken for which particular measure you have to find out the month to date and previous month to date for you it will be different if you are working on different data if you are working on same data you will be using the same calculations right so just manipulation of calculation will be there otherwise other procedure will be remaining same right then what i will do now we will find out current month sales i will take another new major and i will name it as current month sales right cm sales right so now always remember the last month which we have in our data is december 2022 right now which i am shooting this video it's 2024 i guess uh, it's april so current month sales for us it means that the sales of that particular month which is the latest month in our date right not today's month a data's uh, the data which we have in that which is the last month so that we will represent as current month sales previous month sales is nothing but if it is december in our data then one month back 
uh, that is nothing but november 2022 you can check with respect to your data it will be different with respect to my data the sales or we can say the month will be different right so we will be using a total mtd function over here right to get current month sales expression is nothing but the total sales right so out of this total sales we have to find out the current month and date is nothing but the date which we created that is date table right so from this date table we have created the date simple this calculation which we are going to use so this is nothing but current month sales i will just hit ok so you can see current month sales has been created in the same way we will try to create previous month sales so i will just right click over here and i will click on new measure and i will name it as previous month sales okay and for this uh, what we will use we will use a calculate function first right then it will ask us first argument as expression right so expression for us is nothing but for which major right with respect to which major you have to find out previous month sales so we will use the reference of current month sales right so we have already calculated current month sales we will use that reference and we will go one month back okay so we have to go one month back with respect to this sales so we have to go one month back so for that we will use a data add function right so first we will use data add function so it is asking us for which date so date is nothing but our date table right so the date table which we have created then it is asking us number of intervals how many months you have to go back if you are going back it is nothing but you are going in negative uh, direction that is backward so we will use one month back so we will use minus one comma and then interval so it is good we have to go one day back one month back one quarter back or one year back so we have to go one month so just click on month and you can see our calculation has been completed and just click on ok right so in this way you can see our uh, current month and previous month has been calculated right so if you want to check it is very easy to check right so uh, you can just take this particular card visual over here and you can see uh, current month sales and previous month sales right so these are our current month sales and previous month sales you can see current month sales has been dropped with respect to previous month right so it is there is almost a big difference between this uh, uh more than like uh 20 25k whatever it is you can calculate it so right so you can see you can evaluate you can cross check also if you want you can create a matrix chart you can see whether these values are correct right so i'll just delete it for now now what we will do i will just close this we don't want this and now we will create a uh you, you know this calculation right so this trend we have to create so for that we are going to use a dax function so for it i will i have already created a dax uh, you can just copy this DAX for you, right? So I will just copy it and I will create a new measure, okay? And I will paste it over here. So I will just explain you what what we have created. So in this one single DAX itself, we have created an entire calculation for us. So what we have done here is we have taken our first variable, month the difference, and we have taken so difference is nothing but it's current month sales minus previous month sales right first we want difference then we want month on month increase how much growth is been taken so this is a standard formula which we use that is current month sales minus previous month sales divided by the previous month sales right then we have created a sign okay so that is nothing but if it is positive or negative right so if this month difference right so which we created if it is greater than zero then we it should show plus sign and if it is negative okay if it is negative it should show blank nothing should be shown then we want sign trend again so that is nothing but going up and going down right so now you will see that uh, how to how to add this over here so you have to press uh, one second okay so what you have to do is you have to press windows dot okay windows plus dot function and here you have different options you will get here and you have to go in this particular thing right in symbols so uh, you have to go scroll down and you have to find those symbols for you again i am telling you windows dot function both the functions or uh, we can say both the keys you have to press at the once right so you will get open this particular dialog box and then you can find this particular uh you can say uh, this particular uh, icons for you right so once we have uh, created these four variables then we will return it and we will we have concatenated all of these right so first i want sign train nothing but uh, up or negative or positive uh, that is nothing but upward or downward direction then i have added and and a space between that then sign that is nothing but whether it is increasing or decreasing so if it is positive it will show plus if it is negative it should show blank right 
and format okay so month on month we have created a format function for this just to show in percentage format right so for that we have shown a format function and right then for sign also we have created a format to create it into thousand so we have to divide it by 1000 and then we have to show it in key that is nothing but thousand then we have again added one more space and a text has been added that is nothing but versus lm so this is i have named this as uh, sub kpi that is nothing but uh, we have to uh, it is a second label we have created so i have named this so just click on ok okay and now what we will do i will just show you how it will look so i will just take this particular thing that is i will take a kpi and i will show you how it looks right so you can see once you click on this you can see it is been called in in entire one single kpi you can see all those information which we wrote in this particular tax right so i will just delete it for now okay so just delete it for now so before moving ahead into the video let me also introduce you to my website where i have different data analyst material and projects available so in first you can see i have data analyst complete material where you can get the material on different tools like excel data warehouse sql power bi tableau and python in this also you will get different real-time projects interview questions handwritten notes the entire power bi and all the tools syllabus is also mentioned with the links which are available for those particular videos okay so you can read the description before the purchase then you can see i have different power bi projects 13 unique power bi projects on different domain is also available then different tableau projects 15 different tableau projects are also available then specific tool material also if you want like for power bi you can see what are the notes that may are mentioned what are the different topics you can see interview questions ebooks cheat sheets ppt's various materials are available you just have to click over here you can read the entire description what is mentioned in that okay similarly i have it for w material sql material is also there and if you want to connect with me one to one you can just uh, select any of this particular session you can book the call and you can connect with me for the one to one meeting as well right so now let's move ahead with our video and now we have uh, everything now we will start creating our bar chart right that is customized bar chart so for that what we have to do is you have to go in clustered bar chart okay not this normal bar chart uh, we have to go in clustered bar chart so just select this cluster bar chart it will be created over here i will just increase its size okay just increase the size of this bar chart then what i have to take i have to do it by subcategory okay on y axis i will take subcategory and on x axis i will take sales okay so with respect to sales we have created this but i have to only show 10 subcategories okay so for that i will add a filter over here you can see a subcategory is there just click over here then instead of basic i will click on advanced filtering sorry not advanced top and filtering okay you want top 10 okay and on by what value okay by what value it is nothing but by sum of sales so that is i will take sales and i will add over here you can see sum of sales and just click on apply filter and you can see only top 10 sales are being shown over here right so that is subcategories now i will close this filter and on this only now we have to work right so what we have to do here is we have to create one more calculation over here so for that i will just right click over here and i will click on new major and i will click over here and i will name it as label holder okay okay it is it will be acting as our label holder so a label holder is equal to zero nothing you have to do you have to just press it as equal to zero this is the only text you have to write right and now what i will do i will take this label holder and i will add it into x-axis on the second okay so just click over here and as soon as you do your bar chart will change right so you can see it has been changed so what has what changes have been done what what because we have taken a clustered bar chart it has taken two measures in this entire bar chart first is this and second is what the zero value okay because it was a zero value we have given to this label holder it will not show any bar because it's a zero value right because we are starting from zero and it is zero itself so if you want to see the labels what you have to do select this bar chart go in format visual and you can see a data labels is there just turn on this okay so you can see on this chair we have the sales value right the one sales value first and the second is zero value that is nothing but our label holder right so the same way we are going to make use of this and we are going to create our bar chart right 
so now what i will do i will take this label holder and i will add it above the sum of cells okay so what i will do take this label holder and i will add it at the above the sum of cells right so right so as soon as i do so label holder is at top and the sum of cells is at bottom so as soon as i do your bar chart will change okay so what change has been happened over here that everything the color has been changed first thing and uh, for the other thing initially it was in descending order with sum of cells that has been also replaced so now to make it again with respect to that is the maximum value should be at the top and the other will be in the descending order so what you have to do just go over here and then you have a sort axis right so now sorting is done on label holder instead of label holder we will do it on sum of cells and it is already in descending so just click on sum of cells so you can see again we are getting our bars aligned so just color has been changed color we will change it later i will show you how to change it right so now select this chart go over here right so now we will do some formattings on this and then we will add our bar holder right so first thing what we will do uh i will just uh so what i will do is i will just go in grid lines and i will turn off all of the grid lines okay then i will go in y axis okay i will turn off the values okay i will remove all the values from here okay so first the values were there that is nothing but the subcategories so i don't want to show it over here i want above the bar okay so i will just turn off those and i don't want title as well okay similarly for x axis i will remove the title and i will remove the values as well right so now our bar chart is completely cleaned now what i want instead of zero over here i want the name of this particular that is nothing but chairs of that particular subcategory so now to add it over here we will have to create one more calculation okay so for that i will just right here right click over here new major and i will name it as label for bar chart okay you can name anything so i will name it as label for bar chart and we will use a selected value uh, we can say use a dax function as selected value so whichever values is been selected that will be used okay and we will name it as subcategory only okay just close it and click on okay okay so now select our chart go over here format visible then you have an option first we will turn off the legends as well just so turn off the legends and go in data label so open this okay so now you have all series has been selected over here instead of all just select label holder that is nothing but the zero value select label holder go down go in values okay and now here you have an option called label holder so just click over here we have to change it okay we have to change it to label for bar so as soon as i click on this you can see the labels has been changed over here you can see these labels okay and you can format this okay so instead of sergio you i will use save your babe bold and i will increase the font okay i will increase it to 12 right so you can see you can change it from here you have to select here label holder go in values and instead of this we have to select the tax we have created but in front of this you also want the value to be shown okay so now to do that we will change our tax again created that is nothing but the label holder which we have created for this bar chart in in front of this we will add a concatenated function and i will add and okay right and i will add in double inverted commas i will add a pipe operator nothing but a separator in between these two and again i will add add a function okay and i will add this particular label over here that is nothing but sum of that is nothing but total sales right we have to show total sales just click on okay so you can see as soon as you do this you can see uh, sales has been added over here but those are not formatted right so we are getting it in three decimal points and a long number we are getting so we will format that quickly and you can see we have to add space before this pipe operator and after the pipe operator as well so i'll just click on this pipe operator in between inverted commas i will add one space over here and i will add one space over here right so you can see space will be added over here now we have to format this okay so i will add a format function right so format function i have added already okay so we have to format this i will add a comma how what formatting should be done to this right so it double inverted comma i will add at 0.0, .0 key okay and i will format this right and i will close the bracket right and i'll just click on this now you can see k has been added one decimal point has been added 
but it should show what 335.766 so for that we have to divide this total sales by 1000 okay that is nothing but divide it by 1000 so that we can show it in thousands right that is nothing but key that it, it will add a decimal points after three that is due after dividing by thousand right so i'll just click on okay and now you can see it has been correctly showing that sum up sales with respect to this particular chairs phone storage and all those right so now next thing what we have to do here is we have to change these labels as well right so the labels we have to show which we have just created by using a, a longer dax which we just used that is nothing but the sub sales right so this particular dax right so now again the same procedure we have follow select this chart go over here then go to data labels okay so now instead of label holder now we have to choose sum of sales okay so instead of sum of sales go in values now select sum of sales go in values so instead of these values to be shown we will show something else right so what we will do we will show something else that is nothing but sub we will show this sub kpi which we have created you can see it has been created it has been now showing it over here right and so now we have to show its position inside this bar chart right so it depends upon you if you want to show at the end or inside the bar chart so instead of auto i will show it at inside end okay so now it will show inside this end of this bar chart right and now you can change the font as well i will change the font as ui bold and i will increase the font as well so now it has been shown so for each bar you can see it has been showing whether it has been increasing or decreasing with respect to list right so we already saw at higher level it is already decreasing so most of them you will see that the sales are been decreasing with respect to last year getting or not so in this way now what we have to do is i will just close this now what we have to do we have to change the color of this bars so when you click on these bars you can see you don't have any option to change the color of the bar over here but you have the series right so just click on series instead of choosing all just choose sum of sales right so once you choose sum of sales you have an options to change over here so just click on this and now you can change the color you want okay so you can choose any color from here whichever you want and you can choose that color for you and then then in this way guys we have created this bar chart right so this bar chart because it gives very much value in one single chart right so in one single chart you are getting what is the value of that particular bar Inst anything else also you can add here you, you can add the profit also for that particular bar you can add one more prof uh, you can say a pipe operator and you can show your profit one more you can add show you can show quantities so in one single bar you can show multiple measures and multiple insights right similarly here also you can show multiple things instead of month you can show week wise quarter wise or anything else whatever customized you have to show you can show it over here this is just an example which i have shown you in this video right so what can be done right and you can also change sorry you can also change the title also so you have to just go in general from here you can change the title so just let let us show only sum of sales by subcategory right so so there are multiple options uh, to do this so this is uh, the customized bar chart which we can do an advanced bar chart which will increase the level of your visualization and uh, you will be acting as a pro in your organization if you use this right if you are a fresher or a, uh, learning this particular course also right so these kind of things you should know to impress your colleagues impress your boss and impress your clients as well right and you can showcase in your project also as a portfolio project to uh, you know which you uh, upload publicly so other people can see and they will get impressed with this kind of visuals right so i hope you like this and uh, so just go ahead and uh, clear click the like button uh, provide some comments some feedbacks if you think that it was this helpful if you want more custom charts if anything else can be done for this particular chart as well right you can also go ahead and uh, you know share this with your friends who are learning in this particular field and there are multiple options to change a uh, few other options also in this particular bar chart but i have just shown you the essential ones and so this looks very cool right so i will see you in the next video guys till then bye bye